Hi, this is Joanne Allenbaugh with Farms.com, and we are visiting with Jeff Vasacek, who is the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Titan Tire. And we were talking a little bit about damage in the fields, particularly as it relates to the corn stalks. Can you tell us a little bit more about that and what farmers can do to min minimize the damage? Sure, Joanne. Very good question. Farmers can do, there's quite a few things farmers can do to minimize the damage and the expense of downtime related to stubble damage. Uh, one of the, one of the uh, things they can do is make sure their, their duals or triples are properly spaced or, or if they've got a setup where they've got singles are properly spaced to go between the rows of corn. Uh, when the tires roll over the corn and they're not knocked out in front of them, uh, it can create stubble damage if it's the, after the combine has gone through, cut the corn stalks short. And if they're not knocked down towards it, and the, and, the, uh, and the stalks are toward the tire, it can't cause double damage in there, especially if the stalks are very dry. Uh, another thing that they can do is if they have a combine harvester, is to have some type of a shoe on the header or some type of something to knock the stalks forward. And that way, the tires will roll ahead over the over the stalks and uh, with less chance of penetrating the tires. Uh, as tire manufacturers, we are always testing. Uh, more stubble resistant compounds in our product. Right now we're doing some evaluations to try to improve it, but as the stocks get harder, uh, it gets more and more difficult uh, to get something that will completely eliminate it. Some of the things that, uh, that really make it more difficult for us to stop stubble damage is take last year, which was a very wet fall, and the harvest went into November and December. A lot of those stocks froze, both for corn and beans. Once they freeze, these things can become almost like needles, and so farmers need to be aware of that. In order to help eliminate their downtime, like I said, they need to have their uh, tires properly spaced to go between the rows, and or if they're going out there with a combine, have something to knock those stocks forward, either a shoe on the header or some type of uh, bar in front of it, and that'll make things a lot better. Another thing they need to do is make sure that their tires have the proper air pressure in them. If a tire is overinflated, or uh, underinflated, it may add to the problem. Okay. Well, appreciate all of those helpful hints. Again, this is Jeff Vasacek, Director of Sales and Marketing for Titan Tire. Thank you for joining us. It's my pleasure.